Hello, welcome to my channel, Reds. Uh, today we are reacting to the Jurgen Club uh, press conference for the FA Cup. We saw Hampton. Um, you know, uh, I don't know where to do and what to say. Uh, Otaro Endo is another player who has a knock and he may not play. Uh, I was shocked actually when he mentioned it because Otaro was playing so well even to the final minute. But you know. Uh, when Jürgen said that after the end, uh, after the game, you know, he had a uh, swollen or you know whatever leg, uh, it was really sad, which is really really sad, you know, especially you know, well you have all your midfielders are out, so boys are out, you know, Graven is out, yeah, <clears throat> um, Curtis is out, you know, now like it means you know, you only have the only survivor that we have there is you know. Uh, McAllister and you know it's really really sad to see him get injured and uh, hopefully hopefully he won't be injured for a long time because uh, to be honest with you you know him Sobo and uh, McAllister you know being there you know it will really mean that that's our, the stro our strongest midfield I know sometimes you know the, uh, the coach will put Maka Maka in the defensive mid and put Katias ahead but you know Katias we know he won't probably play until maybe april or you know late april um uh, so that's a sad thing and a sad side of it and you know another thing is that um the game that we have tomorrow like no one knows how the lineup will look maybe all young kids or maybe you know a strong squad will be put out there you know but the good thing is that uh, sobo uh darwin and more like all their injuries are you know day to day so i think they didn't want to risk for the final and i don't think they will risk it tomorrow but for nottingham forest they will be ready to play uh and other than that you know uh trent will be back after international break so that means he will miss manchester city game and those things uh, which is really sad you know and so it's really hard time you know now to know to see those things what I think about the game tomorrow, you know, the game tomorrow, it's a really strong team having a, you know, underperforming season for their, you know, uh, quality that everyone expected them to bounce back, you know, to fight for the number one, two, you know, but, you know, Leeds and, you know, uh, Leicester, Leicester City is too strong for the championship and, you know, it's showing it, but, you know, Southampton are uh, not an easy game. Uh, but to play with the young kids, uh, you know, uh, they won the cup for us, but still, uh, it's hard. Uh, on the other side, the other positive that we can take from that game is that um, dance looks really good for future, you know. He was involved the fourth goal of over, uh, you know, Luton. He played well on those minutes. And Bobby Clark really played well uh, when he was playing. The few minutes he played, he really looked good. You know the pressure, the pressure he was put putting on. You know all the things he was doing, he was really good. So, so other than Bobby and uh, dance, I think uh, uh, Cornell or Cornell, whatever, however his name is read. You know, for me, it's a Cornell. Uh, he also has a good future, and he's just like uh, Pasitic. He's you know that player. You know deep playmaker you know so i hopefully you know those three one of two or maybe two of them may start and you know it boosts the team uh on the other hand you know we also have um we also have you know players like McAllister there you know Cody Gagbo, Javi Elliott you know uh Darwin Nunes I think he will play and Mo Salah but I don't think I don't know how long they'll play about it but I still think they may not gamble it uh in front, front three will be normal, you know. The Gagbo, uh, Elliot, and you know, but I don't think uh, and Elliot. So and Luis, sorry, Luis Diaz. So I really don't think you know uh, Gagbo is a uh, out and out striker. But you know, now we are forced to it. No Jota, no Salah, no Nunes. So yeah, but you know, all in all, the things that the team, the team is going through you know currently is really hard and you know there's nothing you can do you know there's nothing we can change about it 
it's just a real time real hard time that we have to you know suffer and you know be patient with it hopefully all these things uh, soon disappear and uh, the theme comes back to so yeah guys that's my preview slash reacting to press uh, southampton versus liverpool press conference uh, so how do you guys feel what do you guys think let me know you guys prediction and hopefully i'll see you in the next video so take care you guys peace